this is part two. Hooba tuba tinga wanga, shabba dabba ding dong. <laughs> the pineapple king says, "Don't be fooled. He's actually six feet tall and can lift 250 pounds." He's also pleased with your righteous gift. He says next time, bring two. Chasm, shasm, spasm. Huh. He says that lately, the volcano has been making some wicked sounds, and he fears for the safety of his people's village. He says that to please the volcano god, he has sent his fearless warriors down into Fun Kiki Island to steal coins as a sacrifice to the volcano. The big kahuna here says all this was foretold on their most ancient cave walls. It predicted a great disaster on the most highest level. But that if a great warrior dude would walk out into the lava without fear, the volcano god would reward him with the heart of fun Kiki. Oh, oh yeah, and stop the disaster. What kind of fool's gonna try something like that? I would love to help these little guys out, but how? Is there some way we could use those sweet gifts you earned from each of the fun keys on the island? Whoa, totally awesome! By using the snowman suit as a raft and the soul mask to see through those wicked lava fumes, you can reach the gem! Oh, uh, I think I'll wait back here where it's safe and snack on some of that yummy chunk. But don't fear, dude. I'll reel you in with the web shooter once you have it. We've done it! Oh, I never doubted you for a second, dude! Now that you have the gem from that angry volcano, the natives' village is no longer in danger. Oh, and they'll stop stealing your coins. The Grand Poobah wishes to thank you and invites you to become an official member of their tribe. Your new village name is Kalia Puka Pal, which in our language means George. <laughs> well, he says you're welcome to visit any time, and now you can purchase items at their village store. What's that? The chief says they have no further need of gold, and will only accept coconuts as payment? <gasps> Wait, that means I'm rich! Bring on the chum! That's it.